Local election headquarters ahead of the 2024 elections. Democrats and Republicans alike have eyes on key congressional districts like Kern County. How each party campaigns on issues like crime and homelessness could affect who dominates the ballot. 17's Jenny Huss spoke with California's GOP chairwoman and joins us now with more. Jenny. Tammy, for the GOP, crime and the economy are two winning issues. The chairwoman did not shy away from calling out Democrats and how they handle those topics. If you want something different, you're going to have to vote differently. A message from the California GOP chairwoman, Jessica Milan Patterson, critiquing Democrats on their handling of crime, an issue top of mind for both the California GOP and Kern's GOP voters. It is the policies here. They have failed Californians. They have come down on the side of criminals every single time, and they have failed the victims in California. According to the FBI's 2022 Crime in the Nation statistics, national violent crime decreased about 1.7 percent from 2021. Where are they going up? Right here in California. The FBI report backs this point. Violent crime has risen here in the Golden State since 2020. In Kern, homelessness is considered a public safety concern. Milan calling out Governor Gavin Newsom's track record on regulating the issue, like his 2004 promise to get San Francisco's chronically homeless off the streets within 10 years, which she labels as a failure. And on our conversation about Newsom's trip to China, largely focused on climate change and renewable energy, Patterson says the whole visit was, quote, incredibly tone deaf. So his climate priorities aren't necessarily the priorities of voters, is what you're saying? I think that his climate mandates are certainly not the priorities of California voters. If they were the priorities of California voters, you wouldn't need a mandate. And the chairwoman says Newsom is running a shadow presidential race, hoping to be the 2024 nominee. Jenny Hu, 17 News.